Just how dirty can Kathleen Wynne get? I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. I've been saying for months now, why isn't Kathleen Wynne, or at least why aren't some of those around her, in jail? This is a woman whose associates, her emissaries, have been caught, recorded, saying that they will give somebody a job if they don't run for the Liberals in the provincial by-election held in Sudbury. Well, now... Wynn is interfering with a documentary commissioned by TVO and produced by well, veterans of the field. We're talking about a woman named Roxanne Spicer, who has resigned as the um, uh, director for this movie. The editor, 25-year veteran named Michael Hannon, he's resigned as well because Kathleen Wynn is holding it up. How? TVO says they won't sign off on airing the documentary, which was supposed to air June 6th, until Kathleen Wynne signed some forms. Kathleen Wynne won't sign the forms because she doesn't like how the documentary looks. Her staff saw some of the footage and they got a little concerned that there was too much of an emphasis on the Sudbury by-election and the bribery allegations. See, in addition to interviewing Wynne and Toronto Star journalists like Rob Benzies, who reported on this in the Red Star today, by the way, they also interviewed Andrew Olivier, and they talked to him about the offers of jobs, appointments to agencies, boards, or commissions that Wynn's emissaries, Pat Sorbera and Jerry Lougheed, both made. Now, those recordings have been made public since January. It broke in the middle of the documentary. So, of course, as they do a behind-the-scenes look on the premiere, they're going to talk about this. To not talk about it would be journalistic malpractice. Instead, well, the premiere just wants them to shut up. And now she has a way because TVO, TV Ontario, owned and operated by the province, well, they won't run it without the Premier's signature. She is essentially interfering with the, po the provincial public broadcaster. Can you imagine the howls of outrage of Stephen Harper with kiboshing a story at CBC because he didn't like the editorial direction of it? Kathleen Wynne is proving once again she's not fit for governing. It's time for her to go.